Hello everyone, we're on lesson 1-4, solving absolute value equations. Evaluate expressions involving absolute values and solve absolute value equations. That's going to be our goals in this lesson. Uh, absolute value of a number is the distance from zero on a number line. Since distance is non-negative, the absolute value of a number is always non-negative. The symbol, so these lines, these are two tall lines around the x, is used to represent the absolute value of a number x. Okay, um, zero is the only example where the absolute value is going to be non-positive. So let's let's look at some quick examples. Okay, the absolute value of eight is eight. It's eight spaces from zero on the number line. The absolute value of zero is zero. It's the only non-positive absolute value. Zero is considered non-positive and also non-negative. It's neutral. The absolute value of negative 13 is 13. So you're just writing the positive or non-negative value down each time. All right, let's look at this example. Evaluate the expression. 8.4 minus the absolute value of 2n plus 5 if n equals negative 7.5. So we're going to replace n with negative 7.5 and, and solve it. So we have 8.4 minus 2 times 7.5. That's a negative 7.5. Plus 5. And take the absolute value of that. So we have to solve inside the absolute value sign first. Okay, we do multiplication before addition. We have 8.4 minus... 7 or 2 times negative 7 and a half is negative 15 plus 5. Now we can combine the negative 15 and positive 5. 8.4 minus the absolute value of negative 10. Negative 15 plus 5 is negative 10. The absolute value of negative 10 is positive 10. So you have 8.4 minus 10. 8.4 minus 10 is negative 1.6. All right, you may want to pause the video now and do 1A and 1B, and then resume when you're done to see if, how you did. All right, so evaluate this. 4x plus 3 minus 3 and a half if x equals negative 2. So we replace x with negative 2 and solve. You get 4 times negative 2 plus 3 minus three and a half. Make sure when you replace the x here, you put the parentheses around it, okay? That way you know you're multiplying. You get negative eight plus three minus three and a half. You get negative five, the absolute value of negative five minus three and a half. That comes out to five minus three and a half. That is one and a half or 1.5. All right, next one, one and a third minus the absolute value of two y plus one. So you're replacing y with negative two thirds. You have one and one third minus two times negative two thirds plus one. Okay, two times negative two thirds is negative four thirds. Plus one, I'll bring down my one and a third here. Four third, negative four thirds plus one is negative one third. So you get one and a third minus the absolute value of one third. So you have one and a third minus one third because the absolute value of negative one third is one third. Subtract, you get one.